Playing so many songs off of it. Um, the first, it had only been out for about, I would say, a week when we went to Japan. Everybody knew the words already. It was crazy. It was just insane. Actually, it was more than a week. We played Vakin the day before it came out. So it was about a month later. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's great, man. I mean, we and we played at least four or five songs, sometimes six, off of that record, depending on how long the show is. So. You know, we had this discussion every the other day. Brian Johnson's still the new guy in ACDC, even though he's not even there anymore. He's like, you know, he's still the new guy. So, and he was in a band way longer than Bon Scott. So, 30 years, uh, it's a you know new guy. And it, you know, it, it doesn't doesn't phase me in the least. So, I'm glad that uh, things worked out the way they did. You know, it could have went. It could have went south in a big hurry when I joined the band. And, you know, if, it, if we had to listen to the internet, it probably would have. But we, you know, decided that we needed to take some time and write a killer record. And that's what we tried to do, and it seems like it worked out that way. So, um, and the other thing, too, is, you know, I mean, we didn't want to just rely on going out and playing the old stuff and being one of those bands that just rehashes the old things and you know maybe play one new thing and you know well, obviously we've done four new records since I've been in the band so and who knows if we're done or not I don't know so we'll see the first gig that we ever played was in New York okay I knew what to expect there with my people you know I knew 90% of the people in the audience uh, the next gig Three days later, four days later, we were in Lithuania. I had no idea what, the, I mean, I was ready to walk out there with a shield, you know, and in case the tomatoes started coming. Uh, but it's never been that way. I, they've just accepted me from day one. Most of the people, anyway, I mean, very rarely you get some, you know, people that have something bad to say, but not very often. Uh, and yeah, it makes me feel very comfortable more than anything and, and, and very good and loved, you know? And, I love the audience. Hopefully they love me as much as I love them. So, you know, it's a good feeling. I feel great about him. I mean, you know, obviously I was one of the writers, so as far as being, you know, classics, I, I'm guessing Blood of the Nations is a classic at this point. It's going to be 10 years old soon. Um, but I think we tried to stay true to the to the, to the sound of, of what the band was. And obviously the two original writers that wrote most of the songs, wrote most of the music anyway, so I, I hold my head up high. You know, I feel good about it. So, no, no, nothing to, no shame on my end. So, I obviously have nothing bad to say about Udo. You know, I was a, I was a fan of his before he was a fan of mine. Obviously, so uh, whether he is or not, that remains to be seen. But, but uh, you know, I wish him all the best, man. You know. just 
didn't do the things that we should have done in order to make the band happen the way it should have. I think the music was there, you know, I think the performances were there. Uh, but the times were changing as well, and we were kind of caught in that, you know, thrash metal was becoming big. We weren't a thrash band. Uh, we weren't going to become a thrash band either, so. Uh, but yeah, it would have been really nice. But thank God I'm, he I'm here and able to do this now, so. Lucky. Lucky me. I hope somebody grabs a torch, man, because a lot of our, you know, we're a, a lot of us are getting old. We're gonna have to retire soon, you know. I've, I've said this all along. When I when I can't do it on the level that we do it anymore, I'm not gonna do it anymore. I'm not gonna go out and sing half-assed. I'm not gonna go out and tune down a D and do all this shit that everybody else does. I'm not doing it. If we, if we can't do it, we don't do it. Until that time, we go out there and kill it and that's it. Uh, but hopefully there are some kids out there that are gonna pick up the pick up the ball and run with it because somebody has to. This can't just die when we do.